We're starting tonight with some news on dangerous rip currents affecting our coastal beaches. If you're looking to have a calm swim in the ocean, now this week wasn't ideal for that. Hurricane Lee has brought some dangerous rip currents to the area. Coast TV's Carmen Holland shows us what lifeguards say to do to stay safe. Rip currents are nothing to play with. For people that are not experienced swimmers, it's still very dangerous. Little kids could get knocked over and sucked out. This past week, the eastern shore has seen dangerous rip currents due to the aftermath of Hurricane Lee. And people who are at the beach this weekend have taken notice. I was like, no way I'm going out today. <laughs> so they're supposed to be pretty tough. We were actually down here last night too, and they were, the waves were like about seven feet tall. Georgie Gambaroni and her grandkids are at the beach, and she knows what they're not going to do. We know better than to have the kids go out in the water. They can affect anybody, huge people, let alone 40 pound little kids. Cape Henlopen State Park even closed the drive on ramp due to the high surf. But some people brave the rips today, like Chris Bellino, who says he's dealt with rip currents before. I knew when it was when I was at my limit, and that was after just a couple minutes, and I decided it was time to get out. But it was fun to go in, see what it was like. And lifeguards say if you ever do get caught in a rip current, remember. Remain calm, swim parallel to the shoreline, north or south, um, until you're out of the rip current, and then come back in. Although the rip currents aren't going to be as bad as they were, lifeguards say rip currents are still dangerous. And if you're going to be at the beach tomorrow or throughout the week, be careful, swim with the lifeguard, or just don't swim at all. In Rehoboth Beach, I'm Carmen Holland, Coast TV News.